you guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all staying safe and healthy and happy and all the things i'm chilling here it's just a lovely afternoon i'm drinking some green tea i already had my coffee of the day so now we're on to green tea because you know a little bit more stable energy <laughs> so i was in a chatty mood like i am usually i'm just always in the mood to chat these days i'm always like hey someone want to facetime someone want to do a zoom call like i'm on instagram live like it's just i don't know it's fun. So I thought I'd check in with you guys and sit down and do a Q&A. So I asked you guys on my Instagram, which is at Danielle Carolyn. If you don't follow me, you totally should. I'm kind of proud of my Instagram stories. I feel like, and my posts, I've been kind of killing it, you know, lots of time, you know, anyways, self promo, sorry. Um, I asked you guys on my Instagram story to ask me questions and y'all came through. I haven't looked at any of the questions yet, so I don't really know what you guys are wanting to hear about, but I'm really excited to answer some questions and I don't know, I think this will be a fun little catch up, check in, all the things. Nothing really is new with my life, you know, I'm just kind of here, but um, yeah, it'll be fun. So let's get started. So a lot of people are asking, how are you keeping yourself productive and motivated during quarantine? Um, it comes in waves, like there'll be days or there'll be times during a day where I'm like, forget this, I'm not in the mood. and. I've allowed myself just to kind of veg out for a second and then when I kind of need to pick myself up again, I find that being active helps kind of bring my heart rate back up and kind of awake me a little bit and make me feel more motivated because the adrenaline's kind of pumping and my end and because like you're releasing endorphins, you're feeling a lot better. So if I'm feeling kind of sluggish or if I'm just on my bed, like watching TikToks, whatever it may be, um, I'll just hop on a bike ride. I'll just bike around my neighborhood, walk, go in my backyard, just kind of get some fresh air. Literally the other day, I did 10 jumping jacks just to like, kind of like get myself up and that helped a ton. Um, so that's kind of like how I first start where I'll listen to some music. Um, and then from there, I... I just make sure I have a very clean space. So you guys saw my clean with me part two. That's where I clean my desk. I make sure that my desk is staying super clean and organized throughout this time because it is where I'm doing literally everything. Not only schoolwork, but I also am editing YouTube videos. I'm helping friends with stuff, their projects online. I've been helping my family do like tech thingies and then also the podcast. So I have a lot going on at my desk. So I need to make sure it's a happy place at all times. I've been keeping my room super clean. And, but the biggest thing for me, I think, is staying active. When I start to feel very anxious, I'll, I'm really thankful I just got a Peloton. So I've been biking a lot on there and doing spin classes. Or I'll say, hey mom, like, let's go for a bike ride. Like, just kind of listening to my body. And it's really nice since we have so much more time in the day now, I feel like. Like, there's so much time that um, we have now that would have been like walking to class or driving somewhere that I feel like those, there's a few extra hours in the day for you to you know, get up and just do something. Like, yes, you should be studying. Yes, you should be doing work, but we have more time to kind of do other things as well in our house, if that makes sense. Will you ever dye your hair in a crazy color? No, I know it's like a trend right now. People are like dyeing their hair like pink and purple and blue. I've worked so hard to get my hair at this color. Actually, as I'm recording this video, today was the day I had on my calendar. I was supposed to get my hair done, like my roots touched up. So RIP to that. But as long as I'm staying, I'm staying happy and healthy. I'm not complaining, obviously, but yeah. What are your top five songs right now during quarantine? Love that question. Let me head over to my Spotify. If you guys don't follow me on Spotify, you totally should. Um, let me check it out. I have a couple playlists I've made recently on Spotify. One is called Making the Best of It. <laughs> and then the other is called Current Hype. So for Making the Best of It, I would say Tuesday Slide, Drake. Little Things by Louis the Child, Quinn X, CII, whatever. Uh, they Call Me Tiago. <laughs> I Love Me, Demi Lovato. Oprah's bank account, little Yachty, um, Blueberry Fago, and then for my current hype playlist, which is kind of more like hip hop rap, like workout stuff. Oh, I Do It by Lil Wayne, Turks um, with Travis Scott and Gunna. Yeah, those are some good ones. And then also on my SoundCloud, which is also Danielle Carolyn, I think that I just made a playlist called Quarantine and Chill. And there's a fun, there's a ton of really fun like trap remixes and just fun remixes so if you're into that as well go for there have you been able to see your boyfriend this quarantine and if not tips on distance so i'm going to answer this question um i'm really thankful i was on spring break with my boyfriend and then he came back to tampa with me for a couple days to spend time with each other because we knew that it would be a minute till we saw each other again and i'm really really thankful for that that was like two and a half weeks ago now and we have not seen each other we've both been quarantining in our own 
he lives in Georgia, I live in Florida. And yeah, that has been that. I haven't seen any of my friends. I haven't seen him. It's just been strictly me with my family. Yeah, as for distance, we are used to doing this over the summer and winter break and everything. It's just like, I didn't think it would be as soon. Like I was already preparing for summer and I just didn't think our semester would get cut as fast. So we're used to it um, and it's been really nice. We've just been like keeping in touch with each other and every night or every other night, We've been um, actually doing that new Netflix party extension, which basically you both have to have a Netflix account and you have to use it on Google Chrome and you download it and it's pretty easy to set up and we can basically watch the same show on Netflix at the same time. And like if I pause it, it like pauses on his screen too. So there's no video component though. There's like a chat room. So we just FaceTime on the side. Um, and we'll like talk about it and like if I'm like confused on some things I usually am I'll pause it and ask him a question because we're watching Ozark right now and it's about like money laundering and stuff and he's an economics major so he like knows all the lingo and I'll be like wait what does that mean so it's been really really fun and you know because we started out just doing FaceTimes but it's like during this time it's like we're not really doing anything I'll be like what you up to and he's like I really haven't done anything all day so it was just kind of getting like weird but so now that we have like a show to watch it's been really really fun and it just makes it a lot more entertaining I'll grab a glass of wine he'll grab a beer it's just been really fun and I think it's been really great for our relationship. What's some stuff you recommend to get for rush outfits? I'm rushing this year. Exciting, I can't wait to make recruitment videos over the summer. As for recruitment outfits, I feel like any sort of cute romper or two piece set is a good um, safety. I mean, obviously every school does it differently. I think some schools you like wear a different t-shirt every day. At UGA, um, like one round, we wear like cute dresses, one is a little bit fancier, etc, etc. Or like a really cute bodysuit with a skirt is really fun. But always make sure you're not, you're being like modest but cute at the same time. I would never like try and be very revealing with skin or anything. I don't think that's really, I don't know. I feel like it's just best to be very representative of yourself and your style. I think that's like the fun thing about recruitment. Stores that I would shop at, um, Princess Polly is awesome. Uh, where else on the top of my head? American Threads has really, really cute stuff. All those like Instagram boutiques always have such cute two-piece sets. Oh, um, Sabo Skirt. Sabo Skirt. Sabo Skirt has really cute stuff too. These are just things I can think of on the top of my head, but there's so many. Revolve, obviously. Super Down, which is a brand that they sell on Revolve, is a little bit less expensive and they have so many cute things. How do you get up from being so lazy during quarantine? So I was kind of saying about this earlier, but let's say like you just woke up. I mean, for me, I wake up so hungry. So for me, food is my motivation. And if I'm not starving when I wake up, I still want coffee. So honestly, just the like the idea of the process of making a cup of coffee just gets me out of my bed in the morning. <laughs> Favorite podcast. Um, right now, I obviously, Gals on the Go. If you guys didn't know, I have a podcast with my best friend, Brooke. It's really good. We post episodes every Wednesday. I love Pretty Basic. I love um, Tori D. Simone's Manifest podcast. Gretchen's Happy Hour podcast, Skinny Confidential, um, I'm definitely missing some. Oh, Girls Gotta Eat. I've been listening to Girls Gotta Eat a lot right now because they are just such good comic relief. Are you switching up your living situation next year? I've gotten this question so much, even just when I've been going on Instagram lives and stuff. My living situation is staying the exact same next year. I'm living in the same apartment with my same room. I have a best friend, Delaney Free. So excited about it. So it's nice that we don't have to go up and move out of our um, apartment or anything. Um, so it just all stays the same, which I'm really excited. So, um, there'll be no, like, moving vlog this year, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Favorite Gals on the Go episode ever recorded? Probably the late night episode. Well, we've done a couple. So anytime we've done, like, a late night episode where we get super delirious and we just can't stop laughing, those are probably my favorite. Maybe not y'all's because we're being really annoying. But the one that we recorded together in Greece was so funny. We just could not stop laughing. What else? There was another episode we did um, when she was a senior at UGA and we were recording in my apartment. And we talked about like dating and Snapchatting boys and it was so funny also. Those were like from a while back. I think that one was called the late night episode if you want to search back. Will there be more merch coming? Yes. I don't know when this video is going up, but Wednesday, April 15th, Brooke's birthday, we're releasing some sick new merch. I just, I can't like, all I'm saying is tie dye all I'm saying. What's one new thing you've learned about yourself through this new chapter of life? I'd say so I'm a very independent person and I honestly love being alone and that's something I knew would be good for me because this is a great time for me to have self-reflection. However, as much as I love being alone and being independent, it makes me realize how much I was thriving off of the hustle and constantly being busy and constantly going places that it's been kind of humbling to me in the sense that I kind of needed this break, I kind of needed this pause because 
I should be okay with just chilling out and relaxing and I've always had a problem with learning how to relax and this has definitely been a really good thing for me. I've learned to love mother nature a lot more just going outside and just taking my time with things so I've definitely been learning how to do that. How are you doing with all of this? Updates. So I did a video like right when all of this started getting crazy about how I'm feeling and I've definitely gotten into a better mindset. Ever since I've been working out more, I find that I'm a lot less anxious. I don't constantly have this pit in my stomach. Do I feel it like once a day? Yes, but not as much or not as long. I'm doing well, I'm doing great. I'm really happy, I'm really thankful that I get to be at home with my family and have a roof over my head and be able to eat meals and that everyone in my family is healthy. Um, and I'm also really thankful to live in Florida, the Sunshine State. It's absolutely beautiful and I'm so thankful. And I know there's always tweets like, you can't complain if you, you know, live in Florida or you can't complain if you have a pool. And I, I mean, I completely agree. I'm very thankful. But I think it is important to remember that like we're all struggling in different ways. Like, yeah, my life seems awesome and it's great. And like, oh my God, quarantine queen. Everyone's been saying that to me. And like, I love it, but there, I mean, I definitely cry once a day and that's okay. It's completely fine. I'm very in touch with my feelings. Uh, but no, this does suck. And sucks for everybody and I just like I hate having the unknown um, but whenever I get in a bad mood or I get sad or I miss my boyfriend or I miss my best friends or I miss teaching spin or miss being in class I literally was watching a lecture the other day and I heard my accounting professor's voice and I was like wait I miss him like it's come to that I'm sure for you guys too but I just remind myself just to be thankful be thankful for what I do have for the people in my life and being able to constantly communicate with them be thankful for you guys be thankful i have a platform like thankful for my health and that has is what has brought me you know back and when i do feel down there's certain things that i've been doing to kind of make myself feel better i am very in touch with my feelings so i'll be like okay danielle you're in a bad mood you need to go work out like if i'm feeling feisty i need to go work out if i'm feeling sad you know i need to go watch a movie if I'm just feeling kind of blah, I need to go for a bike ride, get some fresh air, listen to some inspirational music. Um, I'm very particular with how, you know, or there's certain moods where I want to be alone. So I need to go in my room and just close my door. Or there's certain moods where I want to talk to someone, so I'll call someone right away. What's your favorite late night snack? I'm not a big like nighttime snacker. I'm a big like breakfast person. But I mean, I do snack at night, don't get me wrong. But I haven't as much when I'm home in college. Oh my gosh, I would just eat at night all the time. Um, but when I, so I guess in college, I, ha I haven't really been snacking a lot here as much. Um, mainly because my mom just doesn't buy a lot of snacks, so that's that. But, um, pita chips, Stacy's pita chips, a go-to. Baby carrots are always a late night snack for me, actually. Um, chips and salsa, really good. Any sort of bread, I'm a big bread gal. Summer plans prior to Corona and what they will be after Corona. <laughs> Interesting question, I feel that though. Um, so I actually didn't have any, like, in stone summer plans other than like two things. Every year my family on my mom's side goes and meets up in Southern Illinois for a family reunion at my grandparents lake house. As of now I think we're still going because it's like in the middle of July. I hope we'll be able to go um, but I mean we don't have like flights booked or anything but that is something that we literally do every summer and we haven't missed since I've been born. And then the other thing was I'm on the road with Sephora collection this summer and we were supposed to do um, everyone on the Troop SC 2020 gets to do two meetups in two different cities So I was supposed to do that in the beginning of summer But I think they're moving it to like later in the summer, but we're still not really sure um, just with everything going on So I'm crossing my fingers because I love you guys and I want to meet you all I think things might be different now. Maybe I, I really don't know But those are the two things for sure and then like Brooke and I wanted to do a trip We wanted to go to Vegas together um, We wanted to go to Bonnaroo. I obviously was supposed to go to Coachella. That's this coming weekend <laughs> RIP um and obviously I was gonna go visit my boyfriend in Georgia and my best friend Caitlin was supposed to be doing an internship in Atlanta that might be online now, we're not really sure. So there's just like lots of, there's lots of things that I was like maybe gonna do but it was nothing um, set in stone. And now after Corona, um, I still don't really know. So we'll see. Have you ever done any volunteer work? Yes, actually a lot, especially in high school. I did a lot of volunteer work. Um, I had a little bit of extra time, so I really enjoyed it. I used to volunteer a lot. like hours and hours and hours and hours at a local thrift shop. Um, I actually donate to that thrift shop a lot, but it was kind of like a higher end thrift shop where they didn't like accept everything obviously and I really enjoyed it because it was my, it was like an experience in working retail in a sense because it was like nicer, like um, they had it set up really nice and it wasn't like gross when you walked in, it was honestly awesome and I loved it. I loved like tagging clothes and going through the donations, like I really enjoyed that. So I did that for a really long time. And then I volunteered as a camp counselor or a junior counselor because I wasn't old enough to be like a full on counselor at a Christian girls camp. 
um, called Camp Hollymont um, in Nashville, North Carolina a while back as well. After not living with your brother in a long time, are you like, I can't stand him anymore? <laughs> Honestly, no. Um, we definitely like butt heads sometimes, but we are so close. Like we're very just like upfront with each other. And if he's annoying me, I'd be like, Freddie, get out of my room. But I'd say we're really close to siblings. I never really realized that. And some of my other friends that have had siblings will be like, you and Freddie are like really close. And I guess it's cause we're close in age. We're two years apart. And we went to high school together for two years. Like when I was a, like when I was a junior, he was a freshman. And so we drove to school every day for a while. And we kind of have similar friends, which is weird. Like he's really mature for my age. He's like kind of mature for his age in a way. Like he's always had older friends and like some of those guys would be my guy friends. So we've kind of always just like gotten along really well. And he's like really good friends with my boyfriend, obviously. We have our little bonding things that we do. And um, yeah, it's honestly nice to be back with him. How are you structuring your days during quarantine? Honestly, like I talked about this in the podcast that Brooke and I just did, but um, unless I have an online class the next morning or I, I want to be super structured, I've been going to bed and not putting an alarm on. Also though, I don't sleep in. My body always wakes up at like eight or nine, latest 10. Um, but I've just been trying to do that because when is there going to be another time in my life where I literally don't have to put an alarm on? I don't know. So I'm taking advantage of that, trying to get as much sleep as possible because also sleep is great for your immune system. Um, so yeah, that's been one thing, but, um, like a loose structure on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I do have a class at 10, 10, like that I have to like zoom into or whatever. So on those days I've been waking up at like eight, going down and doing like a Peloton ride then my spin then my um zoom class and then um either like i'll record an episode of gals in the go with brooke or i'll film a video or i'll just like do something more creative and then i'll edit and do work for a little bit and then i usually take a break and watch some tv and then i go outside for a bike ride i don't really know i kind of do have like somewhat of a routine but like not really because i feel like if i did have a routine every day i don't know i feel like it would really start to feel like the same you know what i mean like i like to spice it up a little bit do you cuss in real life i know you definitely don't in videos i've just wondered <laughs> I definitely, um, yeah, I definitely say bad words. For a very long time, I never really did. Not because I felt like I couldn't, but I just, it sounded weird out of my mouth. Um, I just never did. And then I think when I got to college, I got a little bit of a potty mouth. Not like actually, but um, I definitely find myself, you know, when it feels right to say a word. What presets do you use on Instagram? So I don't use presets. Like, not I don't use like Lightroom presets. I use the app called Tezza, T-E-Z-Z-A. And I use the um, filter called Vintage. And that's literally it. Have you ever thought about getting a tattoo? No. I mean, when I was younger and I was like in that Tumblr phase, I really wanted the um, infinity sign on my wrist. But I am so glad I didn't do that. Um, no, I just, I just can't commit. What's been the hardest thing about moving home? Um, knowing what could have been. I'm sure, I think that's just like the feeling that it is. It's like when you see your Snapchat memories like a year ago, today was my shorties formal, or you know, there was things I was really looking forward to. And honestly, it's tough not being with my friends from college. And not even that, I'm so close with my friends from home, like in high school. And it's like, oh wow, it's so cool. Like, okay, yeah, I don't get to see my friends from college, but my friends from, you know, high school are here. We can't see each other either. We're all, you know, staying at home. So I think it's just, not it's just like it all like happened so fast and i didn't really get to say goodbye to anyone not that it, let's be real if we all had to say goodbye to everyone and knew this all was gonna happen that would have taken forever it's just like a weird thing but i had a pretty good mental state about it are you excited about senior year i have never been more excited like holy crap like i i'm never gonna cancel a plan ever again all right i think that was enough questions i feel like i've talked for so long but i love doing these and i feel like q and a's you can never do enough of them. So if you guys want me to do another one soon, I really will because I think it's just like a fun, easy way to sit down and chat. Yeah, if you guys ever need to talk, DM me. I've been reading my DMs a lot more since I've had a lot more time. Follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn, Twitter at Danielle Carolyn, our podcast, Gals on the Go, um, and TikTok, Danielle underscore Carolyn. I've been having some fun with that. But I love you guys. Stay positive, stay healthy, stay happy, stay safe, stay home. Let's beat this so we can start getting back on with our lives, right? <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you soon.